As you can see from the title of this video, I am doing a live for 24 hours and you guys are going to come along with me. And at the end, I'm going to break down everything and go over my analytics. I do have some fun activities in store because it's going to be a long day. So of course I brought a project that I actually need to get done along with some other fun little things. I do want to add, I am borrowing this van from my grandparents. I actually live in my SUV, so this is actually first class for me. I honestly couldn't even imagine doing a 24-hour live in my SUV. That would be a struggle. I have so much room for activities in here. If you do want to see all my adventures, I have it in one playlist called Life on the Road. I could really use the watch hours and the engagement. It would mean the world to me, so if you're curious about that, please go check out that playlist. Or even if you just want to join me on my journey, hit that subscribe button. But for now, let's get the party started. And I also want to show you my my little camp spot because as you can see from the back the view are you kidding me just mountains all around I have that shut but that's just a dirt road but it's so pretty I titled it 24 hour live come say hi here we go are we gonna make it I don't know I don't know hopefully my service is good that's the one thing I'm like oh no it's already red live has officially started I tried my best to start at nine and then I had issues with a camping spot and that's a whole nother thing I definitely need to change out of this long sleeve though because I am sweating and I keep getting distracted on making the chai making the chai <gasps> yay my favorite one! Thanks, Ree. It's chai tea time. Brisa, thanks for the roses. <laughs> I'm struggling. <gasps> that was dangerous. That was actually dangerous. Not me almost starting a fire. That burnt my hand. Did you see that? One, two. Chai tea is done. Car is like Motel 6 and grandparents camper is like the Marriott. Bree's really hooking it up. We love to see it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, I haven't told YouTube this, but thank you. Keep it coming, keep it coming. TikTok is doing a live fest, I guess, right now. So I guess you level up and I'm level one. So at the end of this, what level am I going to be? I have no idea. Thank you, thank you for the tickets. Look at this cute little guy eating the pumpkin. Oh, he's so cute. I'm munching away. I feel like the pumpkin still looks pretty fresh, which I'm surprised. Now I'm going to start wood burning. My sister's Christmas present did in fact just burn my finger, so <laughs> I already blew up the stove and I already burnt my finger and it's only been, oh it's 11 11 right now, make a wish. You know when you say that and then you just can't think of anything to wish for? We've been on for an hour and 14 minutes. Main question, how much for you to make bracelets like the one on your wrist? Okay, I made a TikTok video about it saying, because I collected the sea glass and the seashells and like the shark teeth and I plan on making bracelets, earrings, rings out of the stuff. I just need to buy the tools to make the jewelry. I think I'll add some of these, some of the friendship bracelets into the mix as well, but it's going to be like a one-time drop and I think it might happen in February. And I I still need to come up with a name so if anyone has any clever names for that someone said like Haley's treasures or there's like a few that had some really good on the video that commented some really good names found treasures or something wanderlust wait I'm screenshotting that that's a good one Ree. but yeah so I'm thinking of doing that but my biggest thing is I'm like scared to like fail I don't want to spend all the money for the equipment and then like no one buy anything when I do this drop but yeah I'm taking suggestions and I think that's probably gonna be my well learning how to make the jewelry too because I'm not doing like just wire wrapped stuff I'm welding and like I have it in my head I just need to spend the money to get all the equipment but yeah if anyone has any suggestions let me know I know but I'm scared I need to take my hair out actually that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get a thumbnail before I forget I'm like awkwardly bending down because this is the only way that's gonna work okay my hair looks like a freaking lion the thing is it probably looks so weird right here because it's so close but you're gonna 
going to be in it. So when you see this thumbnail, you're going to be like, oh, I was on the other side of the camera. I think we got it. It is time for some lunch with the best everything but the bagel seasoning, cream cheese, and peppers. I just finished cutting the peppers. Now I'm putting the cream cheese on. All right, they're done. These are so freaking good. We're going strong. We've been on live for four hours and 41 minutes. And then this is what I've done so far for the wood burning. It's time to open up one of these. I've been on for five and a half hours. It just broke <laughs> during the hot disaster. I'm having a hard time with this tripod because it snapped and the duct tape just doesn't want to stay. But I'm back to wood burning. And we're at 6 hours and 26 minutes. I also need to go through and delete more because my SD card is going to be full. Uh oh, it broke again. <laughs> Tripod down. And sun is setting. Oh, the windshield is really dirty. It's so pretty. Love it. Step out. I love it. Honestly, I thought this was going to be a lot harder, but so far it's really not that bad. That is great. Oh my gosh, it's really going down fast. Lori, welcome back. The sunsets get better and better as it goes down. It's like pink kind of forming on that side. Bright orange, yellow on this side. Ow, because the thing is broken, it just hit my knee. Like the little reflex part of my knee. So insanely pretty. And then you got the cactus, cacti. Getting closer and closer. Okay, this now is the final clip. <laughs> How many times? Especially with the pink over here and purple. Wow, beautiful. I'm ready. <gasps> oh, with a little kiss. I think that's the second time I've ever gotten it. It's so adorable. Thank you, thank you. Wait, this is like a good clip right now because I have the sun setting and then the live. Look how pink. That is hot pink. Got my phone and tripod reflecting in the mirror. This is a good sunset. Great live. I very much appreciate all the gifts. We are on our 8 hours and 10 minutes. I've added the lights because it makes it fun. And now we're about to put together a salad from a kit. That's super easy. <laughs> this is a salad kit I'm having. My memory card went full so I don't even know what step of making the salad was on. But now we're throwing the little seasoning packet. Goes into the bag. Alright, now I got your Caesar dressing. And then we just take the bag. And we shake. Please tell me other people do it like this. It makes it so much easier. You don't have to clean any dishes. Fishy, why are you sleeping? Whenever I do this, that makes me think of Finding Nemo scene. All you gotta do, open it up, stick your fork in, and eat. We're gonna do our first activity. We're gonna make these things. When I first opened it, I couldn't find the stupid needle. And I'm like, how does this thing not come with a needle? And then I started looking in the drawers to find a needle if there was a needle somewhere in this van. And then I found it taped to the back of the little kit. All right, let's get started with it. I was working on this ginger woman person and well, it's a giant knot now. And I really should be working on my sister's Christmas present, but I was trying to fix this. We're gonna come back to it. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe come back to it. Cause it's starting to frustrate me. I'm not gonna lie. We are at nine hours and 34 minutes. Things have slowed down. Hopefully they pick up because my energy is going down. Shoot, there's a smudge on the screen. I tried to get a whole aesthetic shot of me making the ravioli. It's just not gonna happen. I do not have enough storage on this memory card. I need to get one of my other memory cards. You'll see when the ravioli is done. These raviolis look so fluffy. We're gonna try one once it cools down a little bit. Oh my gosh, they're steaming. Wow. These are good. Spinach and ricotta cheese. Oh, I have sauce. Honestly, they don't need sauce. I have pasta sauce, garlic pasta sauce. Quick little update. Back to wood burning because 
I have a lot more that I need to get done. Work away. Ooh, that's on way too high. I need to put the radio back on. But like, I'm also trying not to be too loud for the neighbors. Cause I don't know what they can all hear, what they can't hear. I'm gonna turn on the radio. This going because I'll get copyrighted. Haley, what are you doing? I have this and this. Um, I'm doing a 24 hour live and I'm filming my whole experience for YouTube. That is what I am doing. It's like Big Brother. And you know, it's training me. I would love to be on Big Brother. That's literally one of the best shows ever. It's like training me because I'm being watched 24 seven. I just made a sign. Hi Fez, join the team, even though it's opposite on the screen and it's really far away and you probably can't see it. 12 hours and 20 nine minutes we're very lopsided right now but it's gingerbread house making time and thank goodness i thought my memory was full it's probably gonna go full and it'll probably make me lose my mind but we're gonna do this right now frosty decorations and this is gonna make them oh they came apart so easy i was concerned that they weren't gonna break easy <gasps> yeah Thanks for the lot fast tickets. Oh, and thanks for the little crown. Thanks for the roses. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Hopefully this stays. See, this is when melting sugar makes this stick so much better. No one has time to hold. Thanks for the paper crane. That one's so pretty. I love that one. I thought, oh wait, this one's sticking better. Gotta glob it on. Okay. Oh, <gasps> it's working. Okay, thanks for more live fest. Now it's the rooftop time and the roof always makes it crash and burn. I need to really glob it on. That seems to be what helped. It's holding up. Let's decorate this thing. I'm gonna decorate it off because the tripod broke again. This is the final product of the gingerbread house. I think it looks pretty good and it's pretty sturdy for this cheap little kit that I got. I have not updated you in a very long time. We are at 16 hours and 28 minutes. Now here's the thing. I, I'll show you what I did. I zoomed in. I zoomed in at the screen like this. I put it on mute and I took like a 30 minute snooze, but the thing is, I don't think I ever actually fell asleep. But I feel a lot better, I'm not gonna lie. I gotta zoom out of this. We're gonna do a late night ice cream. It's the Netflix and Chill Ben and Jerry's. It's peanut butter ice cream with sweet, sweet and salty pretzel swirls and fudge brownie. Should I be having this at 2.30 a.m.? We're eating ice cream with a fork. I also don't know if this is pointed at me because my viewfinder is leaning up against it. So look at that brownie chunk. If you can see it, I don't even know. To be completely honest, the ice cream was really good, except for there wasn't any pretzels, or at least I didn't get any bites of pretzels. No one is really on. There, I mean, it shows 32 people on, but people probably fell asleep. I don't know. I might flip it back up, zoom it in, put it on mute, and take another snooze. But I will say, when I was on snooze, someone hooked it up with a money gun gift, so that's cool. Love that. And people tapped, so I appreciate that. I think I might do that again, because it seems pretty quiet, me, just like, <laughs> I just don't want to end it because I want it to have all my analytics like right there. Decisions, decisions. I woke up at 3.30. I look over. App crashed. I've been sitting here trying to open up stuff. It's like no internet connection, lost connection. Think what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna snooze until 5.30, wake up and do live. So technically I did fail the 24 hours, but you know, we'll see how much the total hours was from when that stopped to then 5.30. Cause I don't know if it just crashed cause I can't see everything yet. 7 10 a.m. so i didn't get up at 5 30. sun is up slowly we're gonna hop back on for another little bit i guess let's see just to get a few more hours in there because i obviously didn't do the full 24 but we did a lot it's working now so i'm gonna say it crashed but i need to do it where i have like actually good service 
sun is poking through. My little chipmunk friend is still eating the pumpkin. The view still looking great. Got an hour left of live to make it 20 out of 24 hours. <gasps> what is this? Best finale. <gasps> this is so sick. Kurt, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was so sick. I was like, it better pop up. It's been a few days, but before we dive into the analytics, I just want to say I believe the outcome would have been different if I would have done this at a different time because TikTok had live fest going on, which means bigger creators were live streaming. More creators in general were live streaming because there's a competition going on right now. So I feel like we need to keep that into account when I go over my numbers. And another thing, I was actively working on something or talking on live for 19 out of the 24 hours and for one of the hours I had it zoomed in to the galaxy lights and I muted the microphone and I took a quick little snooze but then the app crashed so for four hours I just wasn't even on live stream so altogether the live stream went on for 20 out of the 24 hours which i think is pretty good now we're gonna get into the numbers and how it also affected my other social media platforms the amount of people who viewed the live was 15,500. the amount of people that sent likes during the live 215,800. that's crazy how many viewers commented 381 the amount of people who shared the live 36 new followers 47 how many people gifted 64 the amount of diamonds received was 26,321 which equals $131.60 so that's how much I made on this 24-hour live personally I think that's great and anyone who ever sends gifts I appreciate so much it's also crazy because I did a live for my birthday that was probably the other time I went on live the longest which was three hours Hours, but with that live, I made $213 in something cents, which it's crazy to see like 24 hours to this. Again, that's why I feel like Live Fest kind of has an effect. But, but yeah, it's just crazy to see that. And then I do do lives every single night for half an hour to an hour and a half. And I range a dollar to $20 each night, which it's just, it's crazy seeing the numbers and stuff. Now let's get into the other social media parts. So since I had that skylight at night on, people were asking about it. And then it ended up leading them to my storefront and I ended up selling three of those and then someone commented on my teeth saying they're white and asked what I use so then someone bought the toothpaste I use and I stand by that toothpaste which I'll leave the link to those two things down below if you're curious because if you're gonna get it you might as well help me out and then when it comes to Instagram I gained seven new followers which I truly believe it's from live because those people would comment and then next thing you know I could see the same username with the notification and then I did gain three new subscribers on YouTube but I only know two for sure are from the live because they made a comment saying they're heading over to my YouTube so that's pretty cool if you're those people welcome now if I were to do this again there's a few things that I would do differently I would definitely do more battles when I go on live every night I don't ever accept battles and if you don't know what battles are you can go live with another creator and you're just like side by side you have your people they have their people and they send gifts and then at the end whoever wins just just wins some people don't even do battles they'll just talk to the other creator but the battles make it more interacting and fun and I mean and that was like a huge thing with live fest to level up was to do stuff like that so I stepped out of my comfort zone for this 24-hour live I did a total of five battles but there was two creators that I did more than one battle with. We just stayed on longer. I will say almost every single one went fine. The last one, oh my gosh, he was from Florida. He's a Christian. He was a singer. So he like did a whole song and he was so talented. That was a really good one. Another thing if I were to do this again, I would definitely only go three to four hours, then end the live for 10 to 30 minutes and then get back on. I think it being continuously on kind of drives dropped and each time you go live again it kind of notifies your followers well if you have their notifications on it kind of pushes it back to the top at least in my personal opinion I think that would have helped a lot I guess we might have to do this again to try a few different things out but overall I had a lot of fun would say it was a success into all my consistent followers out there who support
support me and stayed on live with me almost the entire time or would leave and come back. I appreciate you more than words can even describe. I guess we'll see if we do this again. Is it. We're logging off. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for all the gifts. Goodbye, YouTube. Peace out.